Welcome back to Eclectic Soul Podcast. I am Jen. No. no. You're, you are Jen and I am Jen. Am I really? Yes, you are. Are you sure about that? Yeah. I'm not drinking so good tonight, <laughs> so yeah, she's probably correct. Yeah, I hesitated and she stole the show. <laughs> <laughs> but she is correct. I am Jen and she is Jen. And oftentimes that when I tell people my name is Jen, they still say Jen anyway. So why are we here today? Why are we here today? Well, today, outside of our, oh God, but today we're going to do, um, Jen's going to do a Letterman reading and I'm going to scry after she's done. So today it's going to be inspiration. Yes, it is. It is, it is all about doing, getting inspiration through different forms of divination. Yes. So I am using a Lenormand deck. The deck I'm using is um, called Mirror Truth. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's by Sylvia Neitzer. She's from Germany. Ooh. And I picked this deck because it's very colorful and there's a lot going on in the pictures. And because we are doing inspiration... We're going to be using the Lenormand deck in a slightly different way than we would normally use it when doing regular generic readings. Okay. Um, typically when you do Lenormand readings, um, you don't really need to look too much at the pictures because it's all about the combination of the cards right. and the meanings together that give it right. the energy. But because we're trying to get as much inspiration... right. We, I wanted the cards to have as much color and scenery as I could find. So that's why I'm using this deck. Um, I'm also going to be, again, I mentioned this too, I'm doing the, this a non-traditional reading. Correct. Because typically when you read Lenormand, um, you either do a nine-card spread, mm-hmm. which is basically three rows of three cards. Right. Or you do a grand tableau, which is... 36 cards all laid out eight cards in each row right so i'm not doing the traditional for this yeah okay and the reason why we don't have room first off well we don't have room (laughs) on our little table that we're doing right now but also when you do those readings you get past present and future Mm -hmm. included Mm -hmm. and because we're talking about inspiration i don't care about past present and future i want to be inspired in the now right the whole point of this is that we're trying to figure out why you need to be inspired and what's going to inspire you. Right. Um, so I'm going to lay the cards out in a very, very different way than I normally would. Okay. Okay. Um, this is basically, I, we don't really have a particular person we're doing it on. No. So I'm, we're just going to have kind of like a, a made up situation. It's mostly just to kind of like show you how you would do it. Kind of give a demonstration of how you would use or how I would use Mm-hmm. Um, a Lenormand deck to get inspiration. And this, okay. can, this could be used for anybody. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by laying three cards out. Okay. Okay. And all Lenormand cards should be upright. So I'm just going to lay three cards out. Okay. And my first three cards are the child, the ring, and the garden. Okay. Then what the next thing I'm going to do is, is because I don't want any of my cards lined up in, th- in three card rows. Because once you do that, and I mean going from top to bottom. Right. And the reason why you don't want that is because you don't want past, present, future energy. Right. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a card on top of the first card and last card. Fire. So now I have fox and I have flowers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add two cards or one card next to each one. So I've got flowers and now I have stars and then I have heart and fox. Okay. And then the very last thing you're going to do is again, I'm going to add a card on top of the last two cards on the end. Okay. So now I have birds. And now I have letter. And the reason why I'm doing this layout 
is I let her mind you need at least two or more cards in order to read them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with by doing this layout, you're allowing every card in the deck except for your significator. Okay, your significator is like the focus. Okay, mm -hmm. all the cards in the deck have a card associated with it, but you don't have three card rows going mm. top to bottom. Right. So you're avoiding the past, present, future. Mm. Okay. So that's why I'm doing this particular layout. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go back down to the bottom because I have my my three cards here. Right. This is your main line. So this is like the, your focus, and this is your significator. So the card that does not have uh, basically a top down, top to bottom card mm -hmm. is basically describing this person's situation. Okay. So this is the reason why they're they're needing inspiration or why the question is coming up to them. They want to ask someone to marry them. Or maybe why they don't, right? It depends Could on be. the situation. So the ring, and it could just be a commitment because the ring is basically like you're making a commitment, a commitment to someone or something. So they're, was that important? Oh. That was just my oh. reminder for my oh. meds. Oh. <laughs> I thought my phone was, uh, but I think it's meant to go, yeah, it is on silent, but it's meant to go off no matter what. So it reminds mm -hmm. me. Sorry. Nope, you're good. So this person is, you could say, uninspired. Um, with a commitment that they currently have. Okay. So that's the issue that they're facing. Okay. And the other cards are going to basically kind of help this person become inspired or at least get themselves out of the situ this particular situation the best way that they can. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's read the two cards next to it. So you always read the cards in pairs. So we have the ring and the child or the child and the ring. So this to me, kind of is more leaning towards maybe there is a family marriage situation going on because you do have the child here. Mm -hmm. So this is saying that, okay, maybe you're not inspired by this partnership or marriage, but there is definitely creativity and inspiration that you're getting from your child. Mm. Okay? So you could look at it that way. Another way that you can look at the child is by telling you to do something new. Right? Start something new. Mm -hmm. So maybe this is saying you need to start a new, uh, maybe a new relationship, maybe go on a new date to spice it up, something like that. Maybe things are stagnant and you need to start something new. Okay, so that's how I'd read these. And then on the other side, you've got garden and ring. Mm -hmm. um, garden means you need to get out more. <laughs> so this could mean that maybe you're just super focused on this particular commitment or relationship. And you, it's basically like made you super confined and you, you, you haven't really lived your life or gone out and really, you know, how can you be inspired if you, you never leave, you never leave this person, you never leave your house, right? Mm -hmm. The garden is all about going out into the world, um, maybe even nature, but it's also being social. So going out and just getting ideas from other people mm -hmm. and interacting with other people. Okay, so if let's start reading the, the, these two cards um, on top. So we've got fox and child. Now fox is an interesting card because depending upon the cards around it, it can kind of have a more negative mm -hmm. connotation to it, but it doesn't have to be negative. And because we are doing an inspiration reading, any cards that have a negative connotation are not going to be negative, right? Because they're, they're trying to bring positivity to the situation. Mm -hmm. um, so... If the child is an actual physical child, so if it is your child, right, um, this is kind of saying that this particular child is very intelligent or is very, maybe even rebellious, you could even say. And it's not saying it in a negative way. Again, inspiration. So it's saying that it, it could just be describing the child. And it's saying that, that whatever the energy of that particular child mm -hmm. is what you want to, you basically want to absorb the energy of that child. Mm. If this is a rep if the child's representing a new situation, then it's basically describing the situation. So it's it's basically telling you to be more rebellious, to be more cunning, more outside of the box. Another way to look at it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then if you read the garden and the flowers, this is actually a really good combination. Yeah, because there's flowers in the garden, mm -hmm. but sometimes the prettiest flowers are outside of a garden that's not been tended to. You're absolutely right. Yeah. 
Um, the flowers always represent beauty, a receiving of beauty as well. Um, so this is basically saying that there is a lot more out there, outside of what you're already seeing. This could be actual physical nature, but it could also be people. It could also be um, just inspiration in general, because inspiration could be beauty, right? It's just saying that there's so much outside that you're not seeing that is beautiful. Or yourself, if you feel mm -hmm. closed off from everyone else because of how you're feeling internally, mm -hmm. having flowers come up as well is to take a look at yourself a little right. bit more with loving eyes and caring eyes and you see the beauty in yourself. Right. But because it's with the garden, it means yeah. you find it outside, outside. outside of yourself. It does, it's, you can still feel it within, but sometimes you don't see it. Right. Until you actually get out of whatever situation you're in, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And someone tells you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to read them going this way. Okay. So we have heart and fox. Yes. Heart is love and relationships. Uh -huh. So again, if I was doing a reading for somebody, the fact that you have ring and heart together, it kind of just overemphasizes the fact that this is probably a relationship mm -hmm. issue. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like blah. It's kind of hit a wall. Um... And you're just trying to find inspiration. Um, this whole rebellious, you know, like you said, outside the box. But again, there's this energy of not going, you know, doing the norm. Right. You know, following what people tell you to do. Right. And, and kind of being yourself. Um, it, it's basically saying that that's what's needed in this relationship. That's why you're not inspired, right? You need, you need to, like, embrace that energy within yourself. And then we have flowers and we have stars. And again, this is a really beautiful combination too, just like the garden and the flowers. Mm -hmm. Stars are all about having hope and possibilities. Like there's just so many possibilities out there. Um, having hope and also having um, dreams as well. Mm. Um, so this is basically saying that... Um, once you see the beauty, once you receive the beauty, um, you're going to, so many possibilities are going to be open to you. Mm. You're not going to know, like, necessarily which one that you want, which path you want to follow, right? You're just going to, it's just going to be, everything is just going to be open. You're going to have choices. And it's a really positive combination of cards. And then the last two cards, or last two co uh, combinations, we have heart and we have letter. And uh, letter's pretty straightforward. <laughs> mm -hmm. Letter m means that you're having some sort of a correspondence. Uh, whether that's email, whether that's a physical letter, whether it's... I'm trying to think what else. It could even be like a pamphlet. Any Anything that's pretty much written physically down somewhere, that's what the letter represents. Um, and this could just be... It says heart and letter. And this could just mean that you need to express your emotions and how you're feeling like write it in a journal or write it in uh, in a letter you don't maybe you don't even have to give it to, to somebody that's up to you um but it's saying that you need it and you need to talk your focus should be your feelings in the relationship and that sort of thing and then you've got stars and you have birds and actually chatter, chatter. these are parallel cards to each other even though they're not touching right. birds is the the actual communication, communication with your mouth mm -hmm. where letter is your physical written communication yeah um so we have the communication we also have stars so this is indicating that and if again if this was a real reading i was uh doing for somebody this would kind of give me more insight into the issue that they might be having that they might be closed off that they feel like they can't share their feelings um, and that they can't open up, and that might be causing them not to feel like they have anywhere to go. Um, because this is saying that once they're able to communicate, they ha they're going to have a lot of choices and possibilities. So if, that, if that's saying, if, if they're, I can't even speak. <laughs> yeah. If that's coming up as an inspiration, then that means that they're, they currently don't have that right now. Right. So you've got two cards that represent communication. Writing, physically writing down, maybe internally, like a journal, but also 
it's saying that if you follow this little pattern here, right? Yeah. Get outside. Get out of your comfort zone. You'll start seeing all sorts of inspirational things. Then you'll have so many options and choices, and then you're going to feel more open to express and physically talk things through. That would be like this pattern here. Interesting. Oh, wow. And these cards are, have a lot on them. Yeah, they do. They There's... really, really do. I mean, I didn't really touch on the, the pictures because... The pictures kind of really represent what I was talking about. You can see, like, the, in the ring, there's, like, a couple and they're having dinner or something yeah. there. The garden obviously has, you know, a path right. and everything. I mean, we could go really in-depth here and be like, okay, well, the path is going up, leading towards the flowers. Yeah. So it's kind of like you're following the path and then you find beauty. Yeah. You know, you can really use these cards to give you a little bit more meaning if you're struggling, um, trying to figure out what the cards mean. Um, I know this is more of a tarot technique to do that, you know, like to see the directions in which things are going and stuff like that. Yeah, but like with the tree, mm -hmm. it you you see roots, so it's like you know when you're burying your heart, when you when it's about love, when it's about your family or whomever, because. We didn't do a reading on just a particular person. Right. You know, it's like when you care enough about someone, you you put roots down. You and that your your heart gets open and you become vulnerable to things around you. There's green for healing. See, I can break this card down. See, I when I think of roots, I think of like a long term relationship. Yeah, very long term. But because yeah. you, you're you you know you're. Yeah. You're digging roots. You're you're creating mm -hmm. a lifetime worth of a family mm -hmm. with a child in the ring here. So that's a commitment to marriage, having a family. You know, things might get stuck, but you want to find the innocence, but yet the rebellionist, but yet the, the desire. See, I, when I look at this, I think... This person hasn't been able to express themselves. This at all. is this is true, and and it's really funny that you uh, you did this because I actually do have a friend that is struggling with certain things, and it's hard being a person in a relationship where it was once the garden was beautiful and you two could get along and you two could talk to each other and then all of a sudden if you go this path you can't communicate because the person that gave you that ring doesn't want to listen to you anymore or listen to what you have to say mm -hmm. but yet like, you have to write it down in a journal how you feel because you have to get it out but you really can't share that and you're struggling to mm -hmm. find, because there is a child involved, you're struggling to find what it is you need to do. Mm -hmm. And it's one reason why I said you have to live your life for yourself, too. Mm -hmm. You have to, in, in a relationship, you have to remember, just because you come together to get married doesn't mean you're one. You're still two human beings mm -hmm. walking a path side by side. Mm -hmm. And you both have to be able to maneuver your path in order to make things work. And you need communication. You need to be able to talk. You need an understanding. You need to be able to go to one another. And it's really hard when certain really loving and caring people get stuck with people that realize that you know that they they want to be at all like uh, I don't know how to say it where they feel like they need because they're the male they need to be the the protector the right, right, money right. and all that depending on certain areas around the world right and you, you just want to be heard 
You want to be respected for who you are and not laughed at and not manipulated and not mistreated and given a chance. And it, it, it just, looking at this, there's so much here that you can long for and do and want to achieve and, okay, what do I do? You know, mm -hmm. put deeper roots down. Because my love is stronger. I'm just, it's just my way of seeing them mm -hmm. and reading them. Mm -hmm. Now, as to whether or not I'm going to be able to scry this. <sighs> well, you don't have to. Because, like, if I was to, say, here... I would ask what would be the better path to take. And it's almost stopped at cold. See, to me, that would that would mean that maybe they shouldn't be. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Because when I look at this, this to me is almost, if you can't express yourself, because this is an inspiration reading, right? right so right. all these cards are telling you what you need, need to, be, to doing be doing in order to get this inspiration back. Right. It's not necessarily saying that the, this relationship is positive or negative. Right. It's just saying... That what do you, you have to do to right. get what you need? And so all of these cards are basically saying, yes, do these things. Each card is a positive card that just keeps being added on to it. Right? So it's saying, you yes, you need communication. Right? Yes. You need to have possibilities. You need to have hope. You need to have dreams. dreams right? right? You need to see the beauty in life. Yes. You need to be able to socialize and get out. Right? Yes. Um, if you have a child, this is a, something that's important. Yeah. If you don't have a child, it's saying that you need things new in your life. You need to start new things. Right. This is kind of representing the spirit within, right? Right. You need to be yourself more. If you if, if you want to be rebellious and go do your own thing, then that's what's positive for you. Um. Your relationship is important, right? Your feelings are important, important. right? Exactly. And you need to be able to sort those through. You need to sit down and write what you're fe how are you feeling about these things. So it's describing all of the things that you personally need to do, not necessarily this is what you should save your relationship. So when you scribe, right. that could be saying, you know what, there, if you do all these things, you could still end up losing the relationship. You could. Because... You're still inspired, though. Yes, you are. <laughs> You're still inspired. You're still able to move forward. Because you don't want to be... Just because... You know, a lot of people are in relationships because they get so tied down. They, they, mm -hmm. they get so... They're, they're hanging on to these things, and they're afraid of the unknown. And you never want to feel like a prisoner. You never want to feel... You know, like you can't... Exactly, because I know what that feels you like. You can't... If you can't, you can't be yourself... Yeah. And you can't express what you what you want and live your life the way that you want... Right. Then you're not going to be able to be... Your life won't have no meaning. You won't be inspired. If they're not willing to talk to you, they're not willing to walk side by side in right. life with you and accept you for who you are then maybe they shouldn't be in your And life. there's nothing wrong with having someone want to be a protector. Mm -hmm. But you, they also have to understand that you are also allowed the same. Right. If, if they want to protect you, then you're allowed to protect them. And in order for that to happen, then you both have to have your own free will. Right. And we all have free will. Right. A lot of people tend to forget that. Mm -hmm. So. Wow. These cards are really pretty. They are really, really pretty. And they're very positive. They just make me yeah. feel positive. The colors enough are, are really... Def this this whole area here, this yeah. just lights up. I mean, love, compassion, the red, the uh, red, you know, that's passion. That you go, with, go after what you want, you know, be what you want, do what you want, you know. Oh, wow. You put roots down anywhere. Your roots are you. Your, your, yeah, your roots are home. Yeah, it's your home. It's your where home. you're at. It's, yeah. And your home can be your heart. Your home can be your body. Your home can be your mind. 
Your home can be wherever it is that you decide it to be. It reminds me of that, that thing I posted on Facebook. That thing about the Buddha. The Buddha yeah. said. Where it's like, because we're talking about relationships, right? right? A relationship should make you feel like home, essentially. Right. right. It, sh- it should make you feel calm. Obviously, it doesn't mean that you guys don't have little fights and things. But it, it you should always feel like you have a voice. And you should always feel like... You want you me to read it? Feel calm and secure. It should feel like home. Yes. You should feel safe. Right. You shouldn't feel afraid. No, you, you should be able, You should be able to feel like you can be yourself. Exactly. I wish I had my notebook with all my stuff, but I couldn't find it. Because it has things you can do for inspiration on a page. So, like, you can ask a question, what is this good for? What is that good for? And this is A through Z, so... Well, okay, so, like... With this reading that Jen did, should this person leave the person they're with? Um, maybe. Okay. The, uh, does this person have a child that they can get inspiration from. No. No. So then it would probably be the other meaning then. Yep. They just need a new experience. Or not. Should they go out and experience a new job? So no new job. No. What about a new relationship? No, really heavy on the no. Should this person find creativity among their childlike ways? Yes. Stop, please. Do they have a rebellious side? I didn't even ask the question. You're already going to know. Stop reading me. So that means that they need to be rebellious. Yes. It, oh, it says rephrase. Does this person need to be rebellious? Yes. Does this person have a happy heart? No. Stop, please. Does this person write in a journal? Yes. So basically what I did is I went ahead and confirmed what Jen had. Plus I played around with it a little bit. But you have to test it too to make sure it's going to give you right answers. And not crazy answers. Um... So, whomever this reading resonates with, um, basically, uh, I, I would say love yourself more, get out there more, dream more, follow your dreams, follow your heart, remember to self-love yourself, um, know that you're beautiful, you're a beautiful being, um, write your journal, uh, communicate and if you have a hard time communicating practice communicating um, be a little more vulnerable until whomever it is that it, it could be a business partner it could be anything because this person does not have a child because um, it confirmed that for us um, you know just be more vulnerable in what you have to say Either writing them a letter if they don't want to talk to you. And if you don't want to give them the letter, like Jen said, you don't have to. You can keep a journal. But never stop being who you are and give up anything that you want to give up. Your dreams, your desires. Find that inspiration deep down inside. Go out. Mingle amongst humans outside of where you live. If you are feeling uninspired, 
and you just feel kind of blah about whatever it is. Like, you know, let's say you used to do something and now you just don't feel like doing it anymore. You know, mm-hmm. whatever that might be. Mm-hmm. That's a red flag. So that's indicating that there's something, something that definitely needs to be looked at. Something that you, you really have to think about and be like, okay, what is the root of this issue? Mm-hmm. And because you've got to bring that inspiration back. You do. And if you can't figure out how to keep whatever it is in your life and get inspiration, then you need to let that go, whatever that is. I love you guys. Please take care of yourself. Good luck out there. And if you need us, drop a word. Send us an email. And, uh, I don't know. See you. Bless it be. Bye. Bless it be. And if you would like to contact us, you may do so at our email, eclecticsoulpodcast at gmail.com. Our Instagram account is Eclectic Soul Podcast. Our Facebook is eclecticsoul.org. Our YouTube is Eclectic Soul. Jen? If you want to reach me, my personal website is Music and Mystery. My SoundCloud is the SoundCloud page, the soundcloud.com slash Jennifer Dash Feltman. My Facebook is at Music and Mystery. And my Instagram is at Music and Mystery. And if you would like to reach me personally, my Facebook is at Just Call Me Jin Jin. My Instagram is at call me Jin Jin or look for goddess. And my Twitter is at Jen Sullivan. Thank you and have a blessed day. Blessed be.